You're back, Soa. You, you're recharged. Everything's in order back home. New training, new strategy. What have you got in store for Daniel? Oh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. We've been working very hard um, the last uh, uh, 14 to 10, you know, to 10 weeks. We've been um, uh, changing things up. Daniel Cormier is a wrestler, so um, we've been working a lot of the, you know, defensive takedowns and stuff like that. So. Well, of course, that's going to be where he wants it. He's going to want to take this fight down to the ground, standing and trading with you for Cormier's probably not going to be in his strategy on the ground how have you been working uh, your skills in that area uh well um i'm a brazilian, brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt so um i've got a few things you know I've, we've been working on the last uh, last 10 weeks on, on on the ground so if he goes to the ground it doesn't really matter i right, wish you all the best from all the aussie fans taking on the americans it's going to be a great main event all the best oh we've got two good commentators as well so <laughs> I want to hear that bread to the basket, so... <laughs> we'll leave that in. Thanks, guys, and all the best, Hulk. Thank you. Cheers. It is main event time here at XMMA. Daniel Cormier defending his World Heavyweight Championship against Soa the Hulk Palalay. Cam Palalay put the first blemish on the undefeated record of the former Olympic wrestler. Well, we've seen it all tonight. It's been strategies and, and throwdowns in his ring like nothing else. And the main event is only going to lead to another great result. Either way, it's going to be sensational. Here comes the sweet science of violence. Here comes our main event. One of the most accomplished wrestlers to ever step inside a mixed martial arts cage. The king of the cage, heavyweight champion, the ex-MMA heavyweight champion, a two-time US Olympian, the amazing, the undefeated Daniel Cormier. The whole Soa Palale from Western Australia out of Team Smash brings in a record of 10 and 2. He has tasted UFC stardom. He wants back in the US of A. To get there, he's going to defeat Daniel Cormier and take the ex MMA heavyweight championship tonight. How does he stop Cormier? Only time will tell. Here's John Demacoli. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Extreme MMA 3. Main event of the evening. Firstly, to my right, fighting out of the blue corner, trained by the American Kickboxing Academy. He is a boxer and a kickboxer. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, official weight 114.5 kilograms. He hails from the United States of America. He is the king of the cage, heavyweight champion, two time, two time US Olympian, and he is the current and defending ex MMA world heavyweight champion. Ladies and gentlemen, welcoming back to Australia. Daniel Cormier! And now the time to my left, fighting out of the red corner. He trained by Team Smash, and he's his Australian zone, UFC and Prime veteran. He's trained in mixed martial arts and stands. Six feet, four inches tall, official weight, 120 kilograms, and he hails from Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, Soa the Hulk Palay! Final instructions from Chris Tugnoni for Soa Palale and Daniel Cormier. I expect you guys to obey my commands and obey yourselves at all times. This is a championship fight. I expect a championship effort, okay? Good luck. We are set for five by five. The defending champion, Daniel Cormier of the U.S. The challenger, Soa Palale of Western Australia. Ex-MMA heavyweight strap on the line. The undefeated Cormier 5-0. Palale 10 and 2. Michael Chabello, Mark Castanini with you. Brought to you by Punch Equipment. How long will it take for Cormier to shoot in and look for the takedown? He wants to put Palale on his back and ground and pound. Soa, the Hulk, has to keep it on its feet. Just faking for the shoot there, Cormier. We saw him take down Big Daddy Lucas Brown and pound him out to capture the title last time out. 
Very patient so far from Soa Palale. Overhand right from Soa. Cormier also a very patient fighter. Defeated Tony Johnson to win the King of the Cage heavyweight strap earlier this year. Single leg here. Oh, and pretty much, Hammer, if Cormier wants you down, Cormier's going to get you down. He is that good a wrestler. Two-time Olympian, six-time U.S. national champion. Big knee to the uh, to the, the rear thigh there, the hamstring area. I played Ali, the sower, trying to get back and get Cormier off him. Give himself some striking range. You see the Olympic rings, Athens 2004, tattooed on his right leg there, Daniel Cormier. Very proud of his Olympic achievements. And so well he should be. Beautiful time knee as well, Cormier, just on the break. And one of the busiest fighters in the world, certainly Daniel Cormier. This is a period there when he fought pretty much back to back king of the cage strike force and xmma he's certainly come to prominence recently hasn't he but certainly along with his stablemate kane velasquez has been one of the real movers and shakers both been undefeated of course velasquez is now what nine and zero ufc heavyweight champion cormier's five and zero xmma heavyweight champion and king of the cage champion palale taking his time a very cerebral fight, nice little gut munching knee from Soa. Uppercut from nice. Cormier. Single leg here, gets the takedown once more, does Daniel Cormier. And Soa puts him in the close guard, pulls that head down to not allow Cormier to posture up. Thought he was going to maybe do it for an armbar there. Off his back, Soa. Does have submissions available to him, Soa. Check him out online, so are the hulk.com.au. Some good video on that. Throws those legs up again. If Cormier leaves that arm in too long, so I will throw the legs up and look for an arm bar. Now side control for Cormier. Very good position just, for the wrestler. He just slips so so easily into that side control position as well. Have a look at him now, just grinding with the elbow. Stay busy, guys. Far arm. He went for it, Cormier. Look at the elbow, short, 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 and he catches elbow. him just above the left eye. So was going to stop that elbow from rippling down on him. Rakes the elbow across the eyes there, Cormier. And so is cut. It looks like his right eye is cut. Right on the corner of the eye. A very bad spot to be cut in for Soa. I tell you what, Michael Winder, a man the size of Cormier, is dropping his elbow oh, cool. on you, even from the smallest of distance. It's going to feel a world of pain. I think we've been bled in every single fight here tonight, and it continues in the main event. Daniel Cormier, just some of the most vicious ground and pound of any fighter on the planet at the moment. It's what a wrestler does best. Put an yeah. opponent on their back and simply grind away. And the referee has stopped the fight. It's all over, ladies yes, he has. It's all over. Wow, Soa just cut badly. So, Daniel Cormier will retain the title here. Soa being cut in the first round. A bad cut over the right eye. That vicious ground and pound from Cormier once again. Just proving too effective. Probably uh, not the finish we would have predicted, but uh, nevertheless, it was uh, Cormier just dominating on the ground. So much with submissions, but more with striking and wear down. Beautiful time. The elbows in short. Look at that pumping right hand. Short elbow, left elbow, the right hand working overtime, and it was really Daniel Cormier showing that uh, he can strike with the rest of them. So it just uh, showing that he's not happy with the stoppage, saying he could have gone on. The cut wasn't that bad. It was uh, technically excellent tonight. And still, it's MMA World Champion goes to six MMA, strike force challenges and king of the cage. The strap around the waist of Cormier. American Kickboxing Academy, who in those World MMA Awards have been nominated as Jim of the Year. I think that they're a good chance to win it as well. 
And again, they're producing the goods. They have Cain Velasquez beating Brock Lesnar for the UFC heavyweight title. Tonight, they have Mike Kyle winning the light heavyweight XMMA strap. Cormier again defending the heavyweight title. Well, there you have it, folks. XMMA 3 was a brutal and violent night. Daniel Cormier defending his heavyweight crown. Hammer, what a night it's been here tonight. And mixed fortunes for the Aussies. Indeed, the likes of Peter Graham and uh, Xavier Lucas coming up trumps over the Japanese. But against the Americans, not so much luck, of course. Well, it's, it looks everything we come to expect from XMMA. Kelly Seif and the crew, what a, what a job they've done yet again. These events are going from strength to strength. The depth of talent and, and the show showcasing of skills that we are seeing here we're truly lucky to witness so uh, it's been a fantastic night all around from myself michael shabello my verbal sparring partner the hammer mark castanini thanks for joining us cage side we'll see you